Over the last few weeks, I've traveled three or four different times, and I forgot to myself, why haven't I done a YouTube video of my travel essentials? So here I am today. Welcome everybody, my name is James, and I like clothes and well-made things, and today I wanna go over my travel essentials. I'll make sure I leave kind of chapters for you to jump to. Let's get into my travel essentials. So this bag right here, I've got my hat attached to it, but this is my weekender bag. I have two weekender bags. I have my Beckett Simonon bag. I've always wanted a leather bag and Beckett and Simonon was fortunate enough to be able to send me something. So very happy for that. And honestly, I really enjoy it. It's the perfect value for quality. It's a full grain leather. There's a bunch of little pockets inside of it for like my laptop, for like dirty clothes, things like that. And I used to work for Shinola and I loved their duffel bags, but I just could never afford it. It was too expensive for me to spend a thousand dollars on a bag just to wear or use like every so often. And so this was a great price for a great value and I'm super happy to have it. Traditionally, if I'm traveling like in the car, I'll do the leather bag. If I'm traveling on a plane, I'll do my rains bag. You've definitely seen that one in a few of my videos. The rains bag is great because it's waterproof, but I can beat it up and it's a lot lighter. Those are the two bags that I'll use for anything like realistically between one and, and three days. Anything beyond that, I'm gonna go with my away roller bag that I have. When I'm on vacation, I try to keep it pretty easy. If I'm going somewhere a little longer, I'll bring my laptop and my camera. But if I'm doing something that's shorter, my phone will suffice. I also have been really falling in love with this like little camera. This is just like a $25, $30 camera that I got. It's called the Sony DSC H90. Eventually I'll upgrade to something better once I'm better at photography. And then I'll bring my iPad Pro. This is the thing that I'll do most of my editing on. This to me is perfect because it's gonna have all of the things that I need, but like it's gonna be light, I can watch movies with, hang out, that kind of thing. And then I will use my AirPod Pros. So AirPod Pro Maxes. I always get the confused. There's so many different iterations to them. Perfect for if I'm in the plane because I can just shut off the transparency mode and zone out to that humming, like I don't have to hear it, which is drives me insane. And then if I'm kind of at somebody's house and doing work, I have the transparency mode where I can talk to Victoria and she can talk to me. So those are great, but I have like a little accessory thing. This is gonna be all my tech. I'm not gonna get too far into it, but just little things like little, uh, this is a little mic for me, little battery charger. The most important thing, this is the like lightning cable so I can put all like my stuff in there. These are something that I use all the time and it always kind of stays in this little thing and they're just perfect for that. When I'm traveling, I don't like to carry a bunch of shoes. And the reason being is like shoes take up weight in their size. Traditionally what I'll do is I'll bring like a lazy shoe or like a take the dog out shoe. But typically I'll do my Birkenstocks. So these are a custom that I had done by a gentleman named Kevin Concepts. I've worn the heck out of these. They're starting to like kind of really get beat up. These are perfect because I can take them in the car and I can just wear them while I'm driving and I don't have to worry about having tight, heavy shoes. But then if I'm taking Lola out, which you will at like four in the morning because she never sleeps and my life is miserable when that happens, I will use those and take her to her on a walk and kind of do all that stuff. And they're just perfect for that. They're also like good getting coffee shoes, just lazy travel shoes. And then I'll do um, a different shoe. Traditionally, I wanna do something a little bit dressier just because if I'm traveling, I'm going there for like a reason where either we're gonna go into like a family dinner. Oh, I love the R Legacy boots just because there's a black version, which you can wear, which I think would be like a perfect if you're looking for like a decent boot to wear for everything. But I have the olive color, it kinda looks more brown and they're great. I wore them with my fatigue pants while I was out there and then I wore them with blue jeans while I was out there and I've really grown to love them. Like they've turned into like my first thing that I think about about when I'm putting on boots. If I am gonna be working out with them there, I'll bring my like Nikes or my Ons. Those are super classic and super easy as well, but this time I wasn't doing it, so I'm not gonna get into that. When I'm wearing clothing there, again, I try to keep multiple things that will do multiple things. So what I'll traditionally do is two pairs of pants. These are my fatigue pants. 
So I wear these fatigue pants a lot. Um, I love the slubbiness of them. These ones are pretty inexpensive. They are the J Crew for like Wallace and Barnes. I don't believe they exist anymore, but I bought them because I wanted to wear these and try to see whether like I was a fatigue guy. And I eventually want to get a pair of like the Orslo like slubby cotton ones, but these have just been so great that I'll probably wear these for another two or three years and get holes in them and beat them up and really enjoy them. If you've been following my channel at all, you'll already know my Levi's 501, these are the 1954s. I have a pair of 1954s and a 1971s. Those are the two that I wear more than anything else. These need to be washed pretty bad, so I'm gonna do that in the next day or two. And these are perfect because they go with the brown of the Our Legacy boots so well, but I can't wait to wash these and get some more fades out of them. Traditionally, when I'm traveling, again, I'm going somewhere nicer. I try not to dress up all that much on my days off just because I wear a suit most days for work, and I wanna kind of enjoy my clothing and have some fun. But this is just a classic white Gitman shirt. I love the detail to the pocket. I'm made in America. Uh, the company makes all their stuff in the United States and their stuff is really cool. They're, they were our white labeler for many, many places at one time. So I really like this and like any colored Oxford, it's just gonna get better as you wear it if you take care of it. T-shirts, I actually put all my T-shirts away because I forgot about them. Traditionally go with like a classic, like just Uniqlo beat up tee. Uh, if I'm going for a nicer tee, I'll do like my Bronson MFG or my MERS B. Those have been great T-shirts to me and I really enjoy them. Just classic T-shirts you can never really go wrong with. There's something to wear, obviously not much to them. And then I'll do a hoodie. So this one right here is a Levi's vintage clothing hoodie. It's one of my favorite hoodies. I've actually looked on eBay for different versions and I can't find them anywhere or they're like way too expensive. But the 1950s Levi's vintage clothing hoodie, I really, really like. Traditionally too, when I'm traveling, I'll try to stick with like one outerwear. I don't go with like heavy outerwear just because I'm traditionally either going somewhere that's warmer or I'm gonna be in a car the whole time. I do carry at least like one jacket with me at a time. I have my Huckberry jacket. That's the Hudson that I got um, a few weeks ago. I really like it. It's a wax cotton jacket and it's great if I'm wearing the jeans, but sometimes it's a little too crunchy for me to wear in a car for three, four, five hours. So I will do, this is the Valence Mon jacket. It's like a lightweight, easy to wear jacket that is like warm enough to wear if it's like 30 degrees out and you're going in and out of the house, but also like comfortable enough to wear in the car. It's kind of like almost a sweatshirt at this point. That's kind of where I go, but light jackets are traditionally kind of a good thing for me when I'm traveling just because you're gonna be sticking in under places. I don't wanna wear leather because I'll scratch it or something along those lines. Those are gonna be like the clothing essentials from a personal level that I like. This is stuff that literally will stay in my dop kit forever. I'll like put it in and then just forget about it. And next time I need it, it's like grab and go. Tied to go pen. I feel like every single person that's in the clothing should carry a tied to go pen. Not at all times, but at least have one around the regular. Because we're traveling and we're typically not eating great, I will go Tums and then I'll go Advil. So those are always nice to have when you're traveling. You should just have something like that face wash so i have a moisturizer and then i have a face wash i use the grapefruit cleanser i believe but yeah this is always in the bag hair care products so as you can tell i don't really like do much with my hair but every so often i just want to kind of you know maybe we didn't have a time to like let it dry so i'll throw some stuff in it to give it some look i always have a travel scent i personally like to get the Le labo like scents um, they do like a travel scent pack, which is like 35 bucks and you can kind of have some fun with it. So I got like this little baby kind of thing right here. This is great. This one is Sentinel 33. I'll swap it out based off of what I need, but that's great because it's still good to use for like a week and you don't have to worry about carrying a big bottle or it's spilling everywhere. And so those are my essentials though, everyone. Like I said, I've traveled like three or four times in the last probably five weeks. And these are the things that I've been using quite a bit. I understand they're not for everyone and they're not gonna be what everybody likes, but thank you for coming and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.